Hello and welcome to another Equitech Hoofcast demonstration with the farrier Peter Baker. This video looks at repairing cracked hooves. The core of the video is focused on one horse from autumn 2008 until spring 2009. Of course, no two situations or horses are ever quite the same. And during this period we had the opportunity to video quite a range of other examples. A few highlights from some of these are included at the end of the video just to give you some alternative examples. Now over to you Peter. This very very wet summer that we've just had has induced instability in his hoop capsule and they both cracked fairly violently from the bottom to the top. And it's time today, uh, now we're in mid-November, to review this. I'm going to take this off on both feet and get some sort of stability into the cracks in this horse's feet. They have never caused him any discomfort, they just look bloody awful. Now we're looking at this thing with the patch off, it is nothing like as horrendous as it appeared with the patch on. There's a fold here that we're going to have to do something with, probably refill it and dig it out a bit. By the time I've taken this bit off, this flaring out, it's not going to look as horrendous as it did. Try and get this back as straight as we can. We've got level, uh, load, straight loading from the ground surface up the coronary band as far as is possible. We're not going to get all this dorsal repression out in one hit because we'll have red ink if we do. But we can go back quite a way. And it always amazes me how, how much better they look just by having the toe strap back. Well, I'm not really comfortable going back any further than that. Do something similar on the other side. We're in a lovely position now. If I've taken too much off, I can whack a, a hoof cuff on that and nail up through the cuff. Right, we've now taken the shoe off, dressed the foot, nailed the shoe on the bottom, knocked the nails over, turned the clinches down, and we're now looking at a completely different animal. Now when this foot is loaded, can you see that crack opening and shutting? Can you see the thing closing when, when it's got weight on it? When the horse stands down, how it opens up again. When we're repairing a crack, well, there's two functions. One is to hold the thing together, and the other one is to hold it apart. To assist lameness, the most important thing is to hold the thing apart, and then we've got to hold it together by stitching it around. I'm going to just uh, open this up slightly. The extent of the crack now is terminates here. It goes in that area there. We're not going to get right into that, but this is the bit at the top is fairly superficial. It's got a little fold in it, but it's fairly it's just over the surface. We're not going too deep there because it's the coronary crown. We're now going to just keep the the filler off the hairline. So the best way to do that is to put a little bit of tape around it. You can actually use the cotton wool we put underneath it as a marker when you check it next time. Just whack a bit of this cotton wool up underneath that there. And that stops, that'll stop the filler going up right up into the hairline. This is the Equidec Rapid Repair. A little bit of a tip. You squeeze a little bit off on a business card size piece of paper down here. Make sure it's mixed until it comes up to a consistent white colour. So then you know what's going on underneath by feeling that because it's, they'll cure at the same rate. So we're just going to fill in the bottom of this crack here. It doesn't matter if it's spewed sideways, it's going to rasp it up afterwards to some degree if I've got to. We'll put a little bit of cling film around it. Like that. And feel it going warm already so that this isn't going to be long before it goes off. Well, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do I'll suspend the weight off it as long as I can. So it, when it goes hard, it's holding the crack apart. If we spread it on the ground, it's going to compress together. So we're actually, we've now taken the cling film off. This is just having a last couple of seconds of air hardening. There's a crack here, you can see that the, the repair comes up, the crack comes up to here, repair comes up. We'll just take this back down to horn and uh, lead you through the steps of uh, ending up with a complete uh, toe crack repair. Demonstrate how we make uh, a fiberglass reinforcing band to put around the top of the cracks. So we get a bit of their uh, reinforcing fabric, the Equitec reinforcing fabric, uh, fold it in half like this and then just fold it over into a into a sausage like so 
then take these wire ties that you buy and get with freezer bags just loosely pop them one round on each end one round on each end they have a sausage band you can make it as tight or as, as loose as you want you then just take your little uh, screw stick it through the fabric one on each end one in the middle put it on the foot cut this thing to length ties off afterwards and then cut if there's any surplus cut the ends off right we've got a reinforcing fiberglass strip on there what we're going to do now is get some of this rebuild adhesive underneath this thing and through it all the way around it the best we can just, just stick it to the foot more or less I, to my way of thinking that's that's enough on there you can now see it quite clearly underneath the cling film you see where the screws have got to go this is this it's a magnetic screwdriver makes it a lot easier but we're now going to screw through the cling film into the hoof wall the 3 8 screws don't provide you don't go right bang in down there with the with the hoof wall they, they're just the right length and they only penetrate the hoof wall they don't go into the sensitive structures underneath you can put as many screws in as you want when I first started this process I was putting 20 or 30 screws in every one it actually isn't necessary providing you get a, a, a line through the middle and then lace one above one below I find that that is sufficient to hold the bands on one more experience tells me that's enough next exercise now is to stop these screws backing out to make certain they can't we put a little layer over the top, just a thin layer over the top, like this. The magic cling film again. This, this cling film over the top, green tape, cut, we'll pop it back in his box, take it off in 20 minutes that'll all be hard and with a bit of luck we might have enough footage left in the camera to let you see what it looks like when we finish. Anyway, thank you very much. Not quite enough film, but a few still shots just to give you an idea of the finished job. So we now cut directly to the end of January to see how the horse is progressing. We're now looking at a horse, started on 20 weeks ago. We did this patch 20 weeks ago, that hasn't been taken off, we've reduced it a bit and this has been on for about 8 weeks. So we're looking at the progress between the modified foot and the control sample foot. In the eight weeks it's been since we last did this horse's feet, midwinter from the middle of November through to the middle of January, the growth here is quite minimal. Given a minimal dress and then we'll just uh, pull the foot forward, check for that dorsal flare and uh, pop a shoe back on it. We're just dressing off now that little bit of dorsal flare, a tiny bit off the side, just up to the where I have anticipate the clinches will be. We'll just roll this in slightly. You can see the crack above. It doesn't seem to come up through the perioplic, perioplic band here. And you can see the crack below where the filler's packed in there. Just check and make sure that it's not loose. You can see there's a crack to there and the crack up here. See the cotton wool that we put in last time? Still in place. Let's just have a look at this. Level that off. In fact, the crack has disappeared, so it is actually uniting at the top, which I feel is a very positive thing. See, you're going to put the old shoe back on, and you'll, you'll see, notice at the foot, how we stabilise the crack, and the crack is growing out, the foot, the hoof capsule, is actually tightening up. So the shoe just has to be narrowed slightly. I'll demonstrate how, how much tighter it's got, is that, that, that was the rear facets. Eight, from eight weeks ago, it was a new shoe if I remember rightly eight weeks ago. We now put this on here and we're, we're aiming to load the, load the shoe on the same part. <laughs>